Okay, hello everybody, bonus vlog time. It's currently quarter to two in the afternoon and it's currently 26 degrees in the car. A bit different yesterday, it was 39 degrees in the car. But anyway, there hasn't been a lot of day out vlogs recently, but I haven't even had the money to do so. But I have got a few plans for the future. But anyway, today we're going out. We're going to the familiar territory again. We're going to focus it again, but for a different reason this time, to see some high up views and see what happens after that. But anyway, one adjustment I've made to this video. Now I've been having a lot of problems with background noise and microphones, but I'm still using my old camcorder. And I did buy myself a new camcorder. I bought it from Amazon for £120. It was a 4K, and yes, you're probably thinking that's cheap for a 4K. Yes, the reason why it was cheap is because it was rubbish. Yesterday I took it back, so I get my money back hopefully in a few more days' time. But I still would like to get myself a new one in the future. But I'll have to spend a little bit more than that. But anyway, background noise has been a problem. The jack connector on this camcorder has limited the amount of possibilities for microphones. So today we're eliminating all microphones. I'm using the one that's been built. And I don't know how well it's performing, I'm not sure, because I won't know until the editing stages, but I could possibly adjust that during editing stages, but we're gonna risk it for one biscuit. So anyway, at the moment of time, fuel, well, no surprise really, the fuel light is on. I've got my bike on the back of the seat there, just in case I can't find anywhere to park, because where I'm going, there's very, 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 very limited amounts of space to park. I'm not 100% sure where the best place is to park, but if I can't find anywhere to park, I'll drive and park further up the road, and I'll take my bike. Which I have to admit, since I've got it, I've only used it about two or three times. I must change that in the future. Okay, I treat myself to a new pair of sunglasses. I placed the ones I lost in the woods when I did my school vlog last year. Bought for Tesco's, 15 pounds. It will do. There are some in there about 50 pounds plus. It was a bit extreme for a pair of sunglasses. I'm a little crazy, but I want to keep the sun out of my eyes. Right, it's actually 24 degrees. It's come down a little bit, so yeah, it's not going to be as hot as yesterday. Whoa, that car made a big last minute dash. He missed his junction turn. My lord. Could have been an accident, could have been one. So yeah, I mean there are lots of houses around here, and they're very nice houses, big houses, but yeah, there's not a lot of places to park, but yeah, this is a place to go pretty much if you're local. So for these people, yeah, it's a walk in the park, sort of. But yeah, I'm going to park it just up here. So anyway, I came here about a week or so ago just to get a rough idea of where I can actually leave my car to go to where I want to go, and I found it, and it was actually this very spot. How someone's already parked there, so I'm assuming it's okay to leave it here, so if he's there, I'll park it here. It's not a busy road anyway, it's very quiet, so it's fine, it should be fine. But anyway, there is actually a public footpath. But anyway, where I'm going to be going, I've pretty much been seeing it from pretty much every place I go. So if I need to move my car, I'll move it. But I don't think there's going to be any issues here. Okay, so I've got my bag, I've got water, I've got my phone. I should get a decent signal from up here. I've got paracetamols, and additional batteries, and memory cards, and tripods. 
Right, we're going for it. Let's go. Okay, let's go on another adventure. It's nice and cool up here, that's fine, that's good. But yeah, if I came here yesterday, that would have been too hot, I think. That was absolutely unbearable. This is just comfortable conditions. Yeah, not too shabby. Okay, I've just seen a couple of people up there, so yeah, you are allowed to walk here, it's fine. But this place is called Castle Hill. Do you know what, I'm loving it already. I've only been here about 10 minutes, I love it. I'm really enjoying this, it's fantastic. I love seeing views, I love going to places I've never been before. I mean, look at that, it's a train, see? Amazing. I'm sure I can't see it. I think so. So yeah, about 20 minutes ago I was driving down that road. I didn't see that long ago, I was in that car park over there, telling you where I was going to go. And here I am. So you've got Sainfish down there, you've got Beardham down there, Alfreds, McDonald's. Yeah. And you see the sea as well. Now unfortunately, one of the problems I have at the moment of time is, yes, I'm not using a microphone now. I'm using the inbuilt one. I don't know how well it's picking up the wind here. It's incredibly windy up here, which you expect. So I don't know, and I won't know until the ends of the stages, if it was bad, it was doable, it was fine, or it was atrocious. I will not know. So you might be able to hear me over this noise, you might not be able to. But hopefully you can see the views. The views are fantastic from up here. And it goes on for so long, it really does. I can walk for absolute miles if I want to. But so far, I've only seen three people up here. And a dog. Cows up here as well. Now already, twice, my camera was blown over. So hopefully I haven't lost any footage yet. But people is it good is it better with or without microphone I mean I forgot this one has an inbuilt microphone but yeah I've always been using additional microphones which are jack connectors so anyway I can see my car from here the other guys have gone uh, so anyway there's no one surrounding it taking pictures of it who's this car belong to why is it parked here 
No, it's safe, it's fine. It's there. Okay, so I have to admit I'm a bit thirsty, but also quite worryingly, I'm actually very hungry as well. I don't think there's many places to eat up here. I might order a pizza. Darby Do you know the top mountains? That is the tunnel I went through, which you might have seen in one of the videos if it came up. Well, you fell over. Probably the last time. And it's definitely not the first time. Stepped over a few times already. Well, there's actually another car over there now, so someone else is here. So yeah, probably not recording a vlog. I doubt that. But doing what I'm doing, having a good time out, seeing the sights. So yes, it's definitely a sensible place and a good place and an okay place to leave your car where you go to higher heights. That is fine. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Right. I have to admit, the wind has eased down quite a lot. And also, it's sort of cloud over. If it does rain, I don't have an umbrella. In the car I do, the car's way way over there. I have to admit, I was tempted to do this yesterday. I'm glad I didn't, it was too hot yesterday. It's a tractor. I have to admit though, I very nearly did this yesterday. I'm glad I didn't. Today is a much better temperature. But yeah, yesterday I sent my new camcorder back to Amazon. Which I have confirmed and received it, but I won't get my money back between two and five working days. Anyway, it's actually the 20th of July, 2022. Start my new job on the 25th. Yeah. I have to admit, it's looking likely we might get a little bit of rain. Should be okay though. Should be. I have to admit though, I wish I brought trousers instead of shorts. Because, yeah, I'm going to get stung, good and proper. And, of course, nettles, rose bushes, twigs. It's going to be a problem today. Thirsty? There you go. I'm not that desperate. But, yeah, I think I'm probably going to see more animals than I'm going to see people today. Yeah. So yeah, if times were tough, that'd be a good thing. Shall we? Why not? Ah! Ouch, that hurt. I don't anything down here anyway. Oh, I think it just cut my ear. Maybe. Right, I'm running low on battery. How I've got two additional batteries. But yeah, this sort of place would be handy if you want to make escapes or something, like a cow, for example. But yeah, as I mentioned on my school vlog, um, saw a bike. Yeah, I was always looking for bugs. And this would probably be in a good place for me to go to try and look for bugs. Looking at all the stones and see what we can find. It's a no bug zone. Might as well have a try. One time I found a slow worm, found it in my dad's garden. But yeah, I've never seen one before. I've never seen one ever since, not my own two eyes. It's nice and cool though, it really is. But it is in the shade, so yeah. 
So yeah, I need to exchange this battery very soon. But yeah, the Folkestone Downs framed. Many people know this distinctive landmark as Caesar's camp, but there is no evidence to link it to the Romans. A low mound in front of a Bronze Age burrow. We are on the ancient track way, a Ridgeland Bronze Age trading route linking Dover, Folkestone and beyond. Pinch a leaf of wild. Marjoram, what does it smell of? Grazing cattle help maintain the downland. Yeah. Oh, it was a car, or could be possibly a tractor, I think. That uh, sounded bigger. Right. Battery. Okay, battery exchanged. I think we're okay for memory, but I'll have that one back up as well. Right. Down there. Am I mad? I'm mad, aren't I? I know. Oh, that's what our contest. It's what our, us content creators do. Oh my lord! It hit, hit by that twice. All right. I don't know if he's going to go anywhere. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Ow! Okay. Right. We're alive and well. Sort of. I just found an empty bottle, so someone's been down here. Whether they live to tell a tale, I don't know. Find out soon enough. Ow! Ow. Well, I don't go back to work until about five days. Got plenty of time to recover. That's for sure. Got me a bit scratched. Guaranteed to be scratched. Right. <coughs> <coughs> I'm worn out for that. <coughs> oh. Aha! We see light of day. Blimey, look at the size of those thorns. They're gigantic. Just as long as a saber toothed tiger's teeth. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. I'm all out for that. Where's that pizza I ordered? Okay, we head down this way. Right, so I've got a few cuts on my ankles, I have to admit, but again, because I did plan this out. Well, some things I did. But yeah, based on the Hastings vlog, I've got quite a few injuries there, which required plasters and tissue. I didn't have any. And I haven't taken that on board today either. I haven't brought any with me. But yeah, again, I didn't plan ahead. But we're okay for batteries, we're okay for memory, we're okay for water. And this is a much easier path. There's certainly less hazards down here. But we are heading over to there. We are now really, really close to that tunnel now. Very, very close. Ah. 
That's poo. This is the worst bit of the video. That's poo, that is. Okay, I remember time, it's currently four o'clock, and I don't want to go too far, because of course I've got to walk back. And uh, yeah, I want to try and go to other places as well. Even though I am enjoying this, I'm loving this. Also, hungry. I wonder how many people... Well, we're going down. We are going down. I don't know how many people come down this part. I don't know. Probably not very many. We are certainly going on an adventure here. A camera moon. Well, this is very nice and cool here. Really nice and cool. Lots of shade. Yeah. Yeah, and getting through these very quickly. No surprise. We're supposed to be drinking this stuff. Right. I'm tired. I'm really tired. How does it get down here anyway? That was one really, really bad accident. Also, it's really heavy as well. Tennis ball? Right, I don't actually know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. However, I've just found water. I'm not going anywhere near that, because again, the experiences of Hastings and the sinking will come back into play, and I don't want to sink today. More water there as well. But yeah, I'll be heading back soon, I think. There are footprints. However, they might not be human footprints. They could be animal footprints. Ooh. 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 Oh, I think it was manure just stood in there. Right, we're safe. Yeah, I think it just stood a cow pat or something. I haven't seen a cow yet. I was expecting to see loads. Oh, I can hear the plane. Oh, I can't see the plane. Oh, blimey. Wow, this has certainly opened up. My lord, you brought a football with me. Yeah. Again, I doubt people come down this far, but there are footpaths here, there are steps here, so maybe they do. I suppose if you live around this part, you go to this sort of place on a regular basis. <laughs> Just saw a guy back there. He looked a bit confused, I was all like, hello. All right, there. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yes. Yes, I was recording when he saw me, yes. Well, sort of, I was recording the ground. Right, this is really opened up now, look at this. So that's where I've come from. Uh, walked all the way up there, all through here, to here. And there's another hill. I have to admit, over there is the shops. Now I am feeling quite hungry, however, I don't know if I can get to it from here. But I'd quite like to go up there first. But I think I need to start making my way back. But first, let's go up there. Okay, we're going on up. We're moving on up. I have to admit now. Legs are starting to feel a bit achy, but I'm determined to get up there. And because I've seen about three people in the space of 10 minutes, I'm assuming it is a place you can get access to quite easily. But yeah, each people I keep seeing keeps looking at me a bit, a bit weirdly, thinking, 
what are you doing? Why are you doing it here? Why are you going up there? Why are you recording yourself doing it? Mate, you've got to be a content creator to understand these things. But yes, I do get nervous when I do these sort of things. I can't do it in really, really busy places. I get too embarrassed. Right. Time out. Time out. Right. Okay. We're probably about halfway. Uh, however, let's get a weather update, shall we? Uh, how hot is it today? How hot is it? How hot is it now? As you do, halfway up a mountain. Uh, it's not working. What is the temperature in my location? about halfway up a mountain right okay 25 degrees uh, okay that's fine well good signal though the signal's really good up here the highest I've got Time out. I'm worn out. Ay, 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 ay. Whew. Okay. Yeah. Whew. I think we need a water break. Okay. Well, I can always roll back down. That'd be easy to go down. I'm trying to get down there a lot quicker than I get up here. However, I'm seeing a lot of grasshoppers, and yes, back in the day, quite a few of my friends and I were always looking for grasshoppers. Yeah, my friend Daniel, Craig, what was that? What's that? I don't know, I just heard something. Yeah, we were always trying to find whatever we could find. And yeah, we were being the biggest beetle, the biggest spider, or indeed the most grasshoppers. We tried. And I've seen so many today. But anyway, they're used to this stuff. Me, I'm not. I'm not used to this. Well, I am doing this. Yeah, if you come from that way, it's a lot less work to get up here. Well, yeah, I know now. However, I've got to walk back now. Now, I'm quite tempted to just go down there and walk underneath the bridge and do it that way. But yeah, um, yeah, he came from over there. But my car is way, way over there. So, yeah, it's a bit easier for him than it is for me. But you know, I'm proud to do it. But I was quite surprised to see human beings up there. No one else is that stupid. But apparently, it's quite a regular place to go. I mean, a mute view is fantastic. Stop! Stop! 
Okay. And breathe. Breathe. Right, okay. However, I'm actually now further away from the car than I was closer to it. But okay. We're not done yet. Right. There's actually quite a lot of people over there. Um, so maybe there's a park nearby, maybe so. Or some shops. Even likely more so. Right, but anyway, this is a nice path. It's cool, it's flat. Where it takes me, I don't know, but there's only way to find out. So there we go, we have actually arrived at the bridge. So yes, I've actually gone through it, I've gone over it, now I'm about to go under it. Amazing. Absolutely superb. <laughs> Where I get back, I don't know. So there we go, amazing, superb, I love it. So yeah, I don't know if I can actually get to where I want to get to from here. I mean, yes, it's a lot flatter. I just stabbed myself in the finger. Uh, and I've bleeded again. I've been bleeding from my wrists and bleeding from my ankles. Yeah, thorns have been a bit of a problem today. So I'm going to climb up there because there's no other way. If I go that way, I'm going to be completely and utterly away from where I need to go. But what I want to try and find now is my car. And I won't find it from down here. So I've got to climb again. But I'm assuming, because I've seen quite a lot of people around here, including children, it must be quite a regular place to go. So there's got to be a simple explanation. There's got to be an easier path than the one I took earlier on today. There's got to be a simpler option. I mean, what is the worst that can happen? <laughs> Dying? So yeah, we're making good progress, we are. Uh, it's currently quarter to five-ish, roughly. So, let's keep on going. Okay, I made it. 10 past five. Wowzers. Okay, so I've walked all the way up there, round there, up there, round there, down there, and I actually walked all the way through that. Okay, we're pretty much there now. Shoes are off. I'm hungry, I'm absolutely starving. I haven't eaten for about six hours. But I have been drinking. But yes, I'm a bit sore. My legs, my arms are scratched. I've been stung by stinging nettles, stabbed by rose bushes and I'm worn out, but I'm not ready to go home yet. So yeah, we're going to get some food in my belly, which I desperately need, and I'll head on to the next adventure. But it won't be a long adventure. I don't even know what time it is. But yeah, I pretty much went through the entire wood area, and I don't think anyone has ever done that before, because no one's that stupid. But yes, it did come at a price. Ugh. Because yes, my legs are really badly scratched. They're bleeding quite badly. I've got blood over my shorts, but I've had a good day, and that's the Morgan's Games way. If you enjoy it, yes, it's risky from time to time, but as long as you enjoy it, then do it. But no one else is as stupid as you, Jamie, and everyone else is sensible. Don't go on these stupid journeys, go stupid distances, do stupid things. They do it sensibly, they take the path like everyone else. But anyway, uh, yes, again, let me know in the comments box below. It might be a bit more blowy up here now, but again, let me know if the camcorder without microphone was better than videos with microphone <sighs> but in the future yes I will still get myself a better camcorder the last one I've got which I sent back I don't actually know what the brand was it didn't actually have a brand on the box so you know I should have taken that on board really you're not going to get a 4k camera for 120 pounds with no brand on the box
I found it on the floor. I don't know if that's actually was mine originally or it was dropped by somebody else. I'm not going to drink it, of course. I'm definitely not going to lit the place either. Right. Oh my lord, I am worn out. I really am. Whew. Okay, better be careful, this guy walking up the road. I'm gonna run him over. So yeah, it's quite crazy when I look over there now, because yeah, I sort of think, yes, I've walked up that, I've walked down that, I've walked around that, I've walked through that, and there's some cows. Uh, and I've survived. Yes, I'm extremely scratched and battered and bruised, but I've still enjoyed it. But I do need to get some grub. I'm going to head on to the next destination. But yeah, I do need to get some fuel as well. And fuel, of course, now is very expensive. Okay. Currently, ten past six. We are in Dover. Just had a Galaxy bar, had a rollover, a quarter pound of beef burger, bought from the petrol station, and also a can of Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Why not? So, change the battery, change the memory card, it's in there. Taking all the empty bottles out of my bag and uh, reuse them again. I don't think I've lost anything else. Normally when I go on one of these adventures, I always lose something, but I don't think I've lost anything this time. I got a really evil look from a lady just now. I don't know why, but she gave me a really evil look. Just, I don't know, but... Just, I don't know what it is. I keep getting looked at. People look at me really strangely. I think, What's that guy doing? Why is he talking to himself? I don't know why. It's, just, it's strange, isn't it? You know, people do vlogs. It's a common thing. It's like an extreme selfie, isn't it? Some people do selfies, some people don't. Want to do selfies? Do it. Don't want to do it? Don't. Do what's right for you. Do what you enjoy. Do what you like. Yes. And don't give people evil looks. Okay, so I put a little bit of fuel in, uh, 13 pounds worth, which gave me about 89 miles. Not a lot. I wasn't going to, but I think I will. I'll put it back on its tripod, I think. I'm not a fan of this tripod, but I'm not a fan of any of them, really. They're all horrendous their own ways. Right. Stop and say, mmm, battery's getting low. Should I change it now? Change it now. Did you hear that siren? Okay, battery number three. Right, okay, so let's see where we go from here. But yeah, this is a place I've not visited so many years. It's like, I can't even remember. I must have been so incredibly young, I don't remember. But we won't go in it. I don't even know what time it's open to, I'm not sure. But yeah, again, Dover, yeah, came here quite a lot back in all the days, but it's been so long. It really has. Shuts at five. I would be very surprised if it was open, but we some footage outdoors, just not indoors. Well, I've been walking for about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, hoping to get some sort of view of the castle, but everything's boarded off, which I suppose you expect. But, there might be light here, possibly.
Another one, thirsty? No? That's cool though. Yes, you are correct, people. I don't know where I'm going either. Now, when we went into the castle last time, whenever the case may be, when it was, we went through the entrance door during the times it was open. We didn't do this. This is what I'm doing. So yeah, I don't know where this is going, what we're gonna see, but we'll find out. At the moment of time, there's not a lot to see and do, but the path continues. And if it continues, we'll continue going. Meet my friend Joe. Joe, viewers, viewers, Joe. Yeah. Um, so, uh, where do we go, Joe? Where from here? Any idea? Any clue? Yeah. Someone's tried making a bonfire. Which we did do back in the day, I have to admit. We did do a lot of bases back in the days. And it was good times. And uh, yeah. Play hide and seek. It. That sort of thing. Um, can't think of any more. There were more though. But yeah, we did light a bonfire once. Only a small one. But it started off small and it got a little bit large. Um, but yeah. We did it all the time, we really did. Good times. And yes, climbing lots of trees, did that many, many times. Falling out of trees, happened occasionally. Yeah. What do you reckon, yay or nay? I'm thinking yay. Yeah, let's do it. Tell me honestly, people, be honest with me. <coughs> Who would do this? Would you do this? In a place you haven't been before? On your own? Steep hills? <coughs> and if there's no one around, what do you do? You can't cry for help. There's no one to help. But we're going for it. I have no sense of fear. Well, a little bit. Back in the other days, no, no fear whatsoever. We thought we were invincible, didn't we? Okay, I can see a castle. And that I don't say on a daily basis. Right, the bottom's pit. Yeah, I don't think so. Um, however, we are surprisingly high up. Let's see Whoa, if we can get a decent whoo, view. Right. Don't worry people, if you're watching this video, I didn't die. If you're not watching this video, I did. <laughs> Apologies about the location of the sun. Unfortunately, that's beyond my control. <clears throat> that's thing for the movies, isn't it? Uh, it just keeps going down and up again. That's what it seems to be doing. Like a yo-yo. I 
feel like I'm doing a really naughty thing here, but I'm not, you know, breaking any rules here. I'm not climbing over any barriers or anything like that. But looking at this, it does look like a path, and it looks like people have been here before. There's some... Right, I think we can officially say we are now no longer going any further because there are now barriers in place. And I'm assuming that is an electrical fence. I'm assuming so. Okay, so yeah, head our way back now. But anyway, down there is a huge drop. I mean, that is really, really huge. So yeah, if you fall down there, you probably won't be getting out of that anytime soon. Whether you survive, you're a lucky boy or, or girl, whatever the case may be. But yes, the bushes might cushion the blow. We might break a few limbs on the way down. Uh, so yeah, we won't do that today. But yeah, it's a nice castle, I love it. But yeah, it's been a long time since I went in there. And of course, Leeds Castle is here in Kent as well. That I've been in a lot more. Um, in fact, my stepdad used to work there. He was a, a tour guide for years. And uh, yeah, he left that a long time ago. But yeah, maybe one day I'll come back and we'll go in there. Whether I'll be out of court, probably not. Um, but yeah, again, I, I have to admit, I don't remember a lot about it. Yeah, that's a big drop. I don't know how well it's come out of the camera, but yeah, that's quite some distance. But yeah, I was actually sitting down there not long ago, and now I'm seeing it from a different perspective. Right, so. So yeah, I haven't heard any sirens, haven't heard any alarms, haven't heard any people shouting, and I haven't killed myself, I haven't fallen down any bottomless holes. So I think we're okay, but it's time to head back. Wish me luck. Well, unfortunately I've been stung on both my hands and I've forgotten what it feels like to be stung by a stinging nettle. It's been about 20 years since I was last stung by one. Warm. Whoa, that's good. That's good. Do it again. Oh, yes, yes, yes. All right. However, there were some leaves, wasn't there? There was a tub of leaves that you're supposed to wipe on stinging nettle stings, it's supposed to make them better. It was, it was something like this, this sort of type, I don't know. I can't remember. But it's supposed to soothe it. That's what I was told at school anyway. Mm, it's helping a little bit. Right. Okay, it's currently 20 to 8. We'll put it into this video very soon. Just do a little bit more footage and we'll call it a day. But we're still in Dover. Okay, we arrive at our final destination. Yeah, the White Cliffs. That is the East Cliff.
So yes, if you saw my day out vlog I did last year in Folkestone and Dover, then yes, you would have seen this perspective from up there. But now we're seeing it from down here. But yeah, it's been a long time since I went one of those. But yeah, we used to go to France every year in the summer holidays. Good times. But yeah. It's quite cold here now. I'm actually quite freezing. Getting goosebumps on my arms. It's currently well, pretty much 8 o'clock now. I've done a lot of walking today, I really have. But it'll all be good. Every time I do go out on one of these vlogs, I always do walk wherever the place. I always do. I always make the most of it. time I come on one of these adventures I always ruin a pair of shoes okay it's not as bad as the ones at Hastings but they're not great but this is not leaky from the sole but it has seen better days but then I have had them a very very long time so definitely use them to the best of their ability definitely got the money's worth that's for sure one thing that really does annoy me is litter there's so many bottles in that water also the football so, yes, of course, people have dogs have to clean up their poo. And someone has done that. They put it into a bag, but they've left the bag on the step. Which is unbelievable, really. But yeah, there's a football there. No, I'm not going to go and get it. <laughs> but there's so many bottles and cans, it's ridiculous. Okay, it's currently five to nine. I think I'm gonna put an end to this video, but I have walked so much, it's ridiculous. Probably about 15, 20 miles. I don't know, a lot, put it that way. So anyway, I pretty much walked everywhere. I walked all through the town, and I have to admit, I was trying to find amusements, and I cannot remember back in the day if there ever were any, but I did find one. But unfortunately, as it was expected, it is actually slot machines, which I'm terrible at. I have to admit, I've never been any good at those, but I didn't go in. I found a couple of gaming shops, but of course I was shut. Uh, I don't know if it was an old school gaming shop or a new school gaming shop, I wasn't sure. But anyway, yeah, I've walked a long distance, uh, but I'm going to head home now. I've got a just for cat to feed, and also I already did it myself, really, so I've got to try and stop off somewhere and get something to eat. But anyway, that's more than our footage. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's is Jamie Williams Games. Please like, comment, share, please subscribe my channel. Face a fan page, please on Twitch. If you're starting Williams Games, you find it fairly easily. Please remember to hit the bell icon that notifies you to the Fantastic. We're not doing these videos. We're very happy to cheat. How we're making a live stream every Friday night. You can tell me at 8 o'clock. And sometimes go on these crazy journeys, get battered and bruised. It's a highlight of my week. Until then, Daisy. Ciao, bye. See ya.